Hey there, ever wondered what actually happens to the money you deposit in your bank? And why would banks pay you interest like just for keeping your money safe? What if I told you that banks are actually creating money out of thin air every single day? Sounds like magic. Well, in today's episode, we're diving into the fascinating world of how banks create money. Section 1. The Basics of Banking Let's start with the basics. You deposit your hard-earned cash into your bank account, and in return, the bank gives you a small amount of interest. Seems like a win-win. You keep your money safe and earn a little extra on the side. But here's the catch. The bank doesn't just stash your money in a vault waiting for you to withdraw it. Nope. They take your money and lend it out to other people and businesses, charging them a higher interest rate. The difference between the interest they charge on loans and the interest they pay you is the profit the bank makes. This is why banks are more than happy to pay you interest. They're using your money to make even more money. Section 2. The Magic of Fractional Reserve Banking but aren't banks supposed to keep your money safe so you can take it out whenever you want? Well, <laughs> sort of. Enter fractional reserve banking. This system allows banks to keep only a fraction of deposits, usually around 10%, in reserve as cash. The rest can be loaned out to others. This reserve requirement is set by the Federal Reserve and acts as a cushion for when customers want to withdraw money. Here's where the money-making magic happens. For example, Let's say you deposit $10,000 into your savings account. With a 10% reserve requirement, the bank keeps $1,000 in reserve and can lend out $9,000 to someone else. Now, you still have the $10,000 in your account on paper, and another customer has $9,000 in cash from the loan. Suddenly, your original $10,000 has become $19,000 circulating in the economy, but it doesn't stop there. That other customer might deposit their $9,000 into their bank, which then keeps 10% and lends out the remaining $8,100. This process repeats over and over, effectively increasing the money supply without printing new physical cash. It's like a money multiplier. Section 3. Do loans create deposits or deposits create loans? Wait, hold up. Earlier we said that deposits create loans because banks need deposits to lend money. But in our example, when the bank lent out $9,000, it created a new deposit when the borrower put that money back into the banking system. So, isn't it actually loans creating deposits? Mind-blowing, right? In reality, banks often create loans first and then worry about meeting reserve requirements later by attracting new deposits or borrowing from other banks. It's a bit like putting the cart before the horse. Section 4. What limits banks from lending infinite money? So, if banks can just keep creating money, why don't they lend out infinite amounts and make endless profits? Well, there are a few important limits. Profitability and risk. Banks have to consider the risk that borrowers might not repay their loans. They need to ensure they're lending to creditworthy customers. If too many loans go bad, the bank could face serious losses. Capital requirements. Banks are required to hold a certain amount of capital relative to their assets, like loans. Think of capital as the bank's own skin in the game. A financial buffer against losses. These requirements prevent banks from overextending themselves. Regulatory oversight. Institutions like the Federal Reserve monitor banks to ensure they're not taking excessive risks that could jeopardize the financial system. Section 5. Is your money safe? With all this lending and money creation, you might be thinking, is my money actually safe in the bank? Great question. Most banks are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC which means your deposits are protected up to $250,000 per account holder, per institution. So even if the bank were to fail, the FDIC steps in to make sure you don't lose your money. The intriguing way banks create money through the fractional reserve system. It's a complex dance of deposits, loans, and regulations that keeps our economy flowing. 